Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. Today's July 24th. So, we are just up and around today. Didn't do much this morning. Me and Ralphie just, we did a cereal review. It's afternoon, but we did a cereal review. <laughs> Rafi already had breakfast this morning, but he wanted to do cereal review, for you, review with me. Um, Cocoa Puffs ice cream scoops. So, check it out. I'm sure that'll probably be it by the time this vlog is up. Brad's over there. Doing bills or something. He's on hold. That's what all that noise is. He's on hold. For the salon stuff. For the Still dealing with it. all the salon stuff that he has to do after he closed it. So Marco, he's in his bedroom. Let's go see what he's doing. He's probably watching TV. There's Marco watching TV. So yeah, let's see. Today, what are we doing? We have a, uh, somebody's coming over to talk with us about our house. We re are refinancing our house, so we're going to actually be saving money, so that's going to help a lot. We're going to save quite a bit by refinancing. I have two separate loans, so they're going to combine them both into one, so uh, that will save us some money, so that's good. So he's got to come over and got to do all kinds of paperwork and stuff, and... I think that's about it. Not too much. We have little errands here and there. Of course, we always have to go to the store on our days off. Probably do that tomorrow. Or we might do one. Maybe we'll go to Costco today and then do the rest tomorrow. Maybe we'll figure it out. Um, anything else we need to do? What do we need to do? Not that you know of. Well, we don't have all kinds of stuff to do. That's pretty good. Oh, and look, look at peanut, look at peanut. <laughs> Are you sunbathing, peanut? Getting a little bit of sun in. She's sunbathing, Ralphie. Look, it's all sprawled out. Catch him some rays. You know what? Could help so me you? and Ralphie are playing old Ow, maid. You just Sorry. stepped on my foot. Sorry, we're playing old maid. Got all our little pears and laid out on the table. I'm, I'm not lying. Ralphie's winning. Okay, it's my turn. Let me pick one of your cards. Let's see. Just stop. What do I got? I think I have that. Let's see. Barber Beatrice. Got it. We're almost done. Yes, I have her. Well, let's see. Someone took some of mine. Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. What'd you get? Old maid. I got the old maid. So, what does that mean? Whoever runs out and has the old maid loses. So you don't want to have the old maid. So. <laughs> gotta mix it up. Mix it up. No, I don't. No, it's your turn, remember? It's your turn. No, I don't it. Yeah. Oh, okay, well it's my turn. I don't know, I lost track. Alright. Oh! You got lucky. You won. Ralph won. I got the old maid. Oh boy. Guys, I'm telling you, having kids is expensive. 
So 115, 120, 120 bucks so far is what we have to pay for Marco registering him in school. So that's his student ID. He gets a laptop so from school, so we have to pay $50 for that. So if it's broke or whatever, it's like an insurance and it's paid for. Then $65 for um, his yearbook. And then for his sports, it's $50. And then um, we also have to pay, well, we won't have to pay that this year. Never mind, we won't have to pay that this year, but we will next year. Next year, it's a $35 for parking pass. <sighs> Kids are expensive. And that's not even including Ralphie's stuff. I think last year we paid $100 worth of stuff for Ralphie. So basically, we're spending two, $300 on just school stuff that you have to do and pay for. That's not even including paying mm -hmm. Ralphie's I got to pay for Ralphie's baseball this Friday. Have to pay for that because he's playing that, and that's $125. And then Marco's playing baseball, that's $125. So that's another $250 right there on top of the other $300. That's like $700 we're paying out. It's crazy. Okay, so we're out and about. I just spent the last three or four hours dealing with refinancing stuff. Oh, this, it, Saves you money, but it's a lot of work, a lot of paperwork and stuff. So now I'm parched and hungry too, but we're out and about because we had to run some errands because it's so late. We got to get stuff done. I'm hungry. So I'm stopping at Starbucks because uh, not Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts because I want a Dunkin' Donuts and they're cheaper. Hold on a second. I want. Can I get an iced caramel macchiato? We are out of espresso bean right now. Well, the truck's out there. Run out there and get it. <laughs> I wish I wish it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what do you want? I want a medium. Is there anything else I can get for you? A medium coconut cream pie iced. A medium coffee. coconut pie iced coconut. cream coffee. pie. Coffee. coffee. Do you want any too much sugar in there? No. But no, thank you. Can I get that decaf? Yeah. And can I get that decaf? With skim milk. You want a decaf? With skim milk? Yes, with skim milk. And lots of and ice. Skim milk? Yes, and lots of ice. And lots of ice. Anything else? Oh, no, no, that's it. Is that okay? Um, I'll try that new s'mores. The s'mores donut? Iced coffee. Uh, no, the iced coffee. Oh, the s'mores iced coffee? You want that as a medium as well and with uh, decaf and skim milk? Um, you don't have to make it decaf, but skim milk would be great. Good milk. Uh, just one second, let me get that in for you. Okay, so I got one medium protecting pie with good milk. Uh, I also got a medium s'mores with good milk. And can I get two small of the s'mores and make, make those more. decaf too? Make those decaf as well? Yeah. So we got our coffee. I was trying to make it here before ha happy hour at Dunkin' Donuts. I stick it just started. It's from two to six or three to six, you can get 99 cent uh, medium, small, medium coffee, iced coffees. But we didn't make it here, it's like 10 after six. So, Oops. tomorrow maybe, we can get it for 99 cents. That's a good deal, good deal. Marco wanted to say hi back there. Hi. Say hi, Marco. He's got the teenage-itis. <laughs> so we got our coffee. I got a uh, iced decaf coconut cream pie iced coffee. Excuse me. I got to sign this. It's real good. Brad got the uh, s'mores. The s'mores iced coffee. But he got Ralphie. Tires. He got Ralphie decaf though, but. You really oh probably shouldn't get Ralphie coffee even though it's decaf because I don't, he doesn't get coffee hardly at all. Usually we just get a frappuccino with no coffee at all, but Brad thought he might like the s'more, so he got a small, but I don't know. What do you think? Some people freak out when they hear kids get coffee. So we'll probably get all kinds of dislikes on this video and people commenting, Ralphie shouldn't have coffee. Can't We're bad, terrible parents happened. because he has coffee. It's just decaf and it's a small. Normally we don't get him coffee at all. 
what this coffee fabric is that stunt their growth. No, he doesn't drink a Harley at all. Usually he just gets the frappuccinos or the smoothies. And Marco got a strawberry smoothie. Daddy. But you can't see it because he's hiding back there. So. After I'm done, I need a drink because I don't want my breath to smell like coffee. You want a mint because you don't want coffee breath? Okay. We'll get you a mint so you don't have coffee breath. Now we're at the bank. The ATM depositing Brad's check and some cash. And then um, we're gonna stop somewhere. I think we might go to Costco, get some stuff, or price shop, or get our meat. And then tomorrow we'll just do Walmart. We might just do online order, maybe. We'll see. So we don't have to do all that tomorrow. All right, so we're stopping at Costco. No, we're all at Mart. We're to at get Walmart. <clears throat> to get our stuff that I gotta get here. We actually haven't been here for a couple weeks. So we're due, because I'm out of my water, out of my Nexium. I need to get some more of that good popcorn. My breakfast sandwiches, all the stuff I get at Costco cheaper than Walmart. I am in need of. Dad. So we're just doing our shopping. Look at this, look at this cake. It's a huge cake. All American chocolate, $17. That is big. I found my popcorn. If you guys haven't had this popcorn, it's amazing. You need to try it. I think I've showed it before, but it's so good. The mix. Caramel corn and cheese corn by GH Creators. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving. We got a little bit more than we normally do here. We kind of found a lot of stuff we thought sounded good, so I'll show you when we get home what we got. Since you can't really see everything in the cart here. So we just got home from Costco and I'm going to show you what we got here in the car because I don't want to take a lot of stuff up that goes in the freezer down here in the garage, so I'll just show you here real quick what we got. So, we got some Asian wrap with rotisserie chicken and dressing. They looked really good. So that'll be good for like lunches. I can take it to lunch with me. Just throw it in a Ziploc bag and take it to lunch at work. Then we got this. It's uh, four meat stromboli, ham, pepperoni, sausage, and salami. That's there because with our schedules, it's just easy to just have something like that sometimes. We don't have all day to cook, unfortunately. With our schedule so and then we got some bananas we got we've had these before they're really good stuffed bell peppers with ground beef and rice and where i got this cilantro lime shrimp and they had samples of this and it was really good granola snack mix we got my nexium we got the caramel and cheese popcorn that we showed you. Ow. My breakfast sandwich, my Jimmy Dean turkey sausage with egg whites and cheese. Excuse me, sir. Big box of macaroni and cheese. Carton of peaches. And we got a thing of Gatorade. And we got a case of water and we got a case of LaCroix so that's what we got at Costco this week so now we're gonna go inside and put it all away okay so for dinner we're gonna have uh, that stromboli since it's late we had to go to the store we dealt with all the refinancing stuff and everything today it's been crazy so that's the stromboli Got to put it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'm munching on that granola mix. It's really good. So, oh, I got to put it in a cookie sheet. Sit it in a cookie sheet. And cook it at 370 for 45 minutes. So, put it in there and start it. 
for 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes. Is it a guitar hero kind of night or what? Yeah. Does it help you when your hands up there to think, Brett? Huh? Does it help you when your hands up there to think? And these kids out here are going crazy. Look at my pretty flowers, guys. These lilies. These are my one of my favorites. They're, uh, they're gonna focus? Probably not. I had some really big white lilies too that was real tall and they didn't come up this year. And then these are called, they're memory something. I forget, memory something. And they have some There we go. These little purple flowers. And then I have these flowers down here. These are my pretty flowers. And then these are moon flowers. There's none blooming right now. But they bloom at night. These really big white pretty flowers. And then I got another mimosa tree in there growing. Look at all this. I gotta clean all this out next year. The, this tree right here, it's a mimosa tree and they keep it keeps growing from the neighbors. We finished eating the stromboli. Was it stromboli? Yes. Yes. We got one piece left in there. So that's what it looked like. But uh, we're finished eating it. Give me a knife, now Marco and Brad are eating peaches. Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning. Today is July 25th. We're at about, guess what? What? Three more days and your brother comes to town. I'm so excited. Yeah, my brother comes back Friday. Just for, well actually he comes back Thursday and he stays through Sunday. So he's only here for uh, four days. I took Friday off work, him and his wife. Coming back, we're gonna have dinner with them, so it's just gonna be a quick little trip. But I haven't seen him for what? Two years. Two years? Two or, I it was like three. Two years when they got married. It's been, yeah, almost two and a half now. So, yeah. So we're gonna go today. What do we gotta do today? We got to, where are we stopping first? Quick trip to get gas. Gotta get gas. Then Cosmo Pro. Gotta get hair product. Brad has, needs a product for work. We have to go finish our grocery shopping today that we didn't finish yesterday. Um, I think there's something else, but I don't know. We'll think about it later. So Brad went and get some hair product. Look what he got. He, he brought Guy Tang back with him. <laughs> What's up, Guy? What's up? That's a whole full thing. What's it say? Snap a selfie and share. Hashtag my identity. So they had that at this salon, at this uh, Cosmo Prof where you get uh, hair product, and he had him hold it for him when they were done with it because he wanted it. He's talking to him. He's talking to Guy Tang back there. You're not gonna put that in the bedroom, are you? So we stopped and got some more hair product for Brad. Now we're going into PetSmart. Just to get peanuts food. So 
but she's out. Then we have to get something else for dog food. And that's it for cat food. I keep saying dog food. I mean, we get another dog because I keep saying dog food. So we just went and looked at the dogs over there at the little uh, window that are in the uh, little pet train area. And we were talking about dogs. I'm actually one of the rare few people that are more of a, I like smaller dogs more than bigger dogs. So comment below, are you more of a big dog person or a little dog person? I know a lot of people are more of a big dog people, but I actually, I've always liked little dogs. We've always had little dogs when I was growing up. I think that's why. I just like little, little cute little lap little dogs. Maybe she'll quit chewing on the wire. Fill it. That looks like one of Ralphie's toys he had. I do. That ball. I have that blue thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe she can yeah, we're still this. having a problem with Peanut chewing on the wires behind the TV. We even when we bought the spray to spray on there and she still chews on them. We don't know what to do. So now we're at Walmart and they have uh, some of the new 719 Walnut Avenue candles. They got Vanilla Bliss. Apple Delight. That's just an apple scent. Caramel cinnamon rolls. They've had that before. That smells good. The vanilla one's pretty good. It's just a vanilla scent. Just a basic vanilla scent. That's all they got. The rest are just some of the summer ones. Oh, mahogany driftwood. Pass. Oh, rustic lake house. I didn't see that one. Okay, so we stopped at home and dropped off stuff we got at Walmart and now we are back out because we had popsicles in there we had to drop off. We ate lunch now we're stopping at Kohl's because uh, they have some Sonoma fall candles I want to see. I want to smell them and see but they're like if they have them here. They're supposedly they're out. I've been seeing them online so uh, we're over here by here so I'm going to check and see if they have them. Check them out. Okay so I found them. 50% off. They smell pretty good. I really like pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin spice a lot. Toasted marshmallow is pretty good. Vanilla pumpkin latte, that's really good. Don't get much pumpkin, but it's a good coffee scent anyway. Brown sugar and peaches, that one's pretty good. Pumpkin gingerbread, I really like that one. Cinnamon sugar donut, that's okay. Um, falling leaves is good. It smells like leaves from Bath and Body Works. Um, apple spice, that one's good. Autumn Hayride, I really like that one too. That smells like some familiar. It smells really good though, I like it. And then down below they have some of the smaller ones. On the bottom there. So they're on sale for 50% off, so they're $19.99. So they're regularly $19.99, they're on sale for $9.99. So I may have to try one one of these days. I'm not gonna get them now, but I might pick up one later sometime, but I just wanted to smell them today. They got wax melts over here too. Looks like there's some different scents in the wax melts. White pumpkin marshmallow, coconut pumpkin, woodland berry, apple spice, vanilla pumpkin latte, pumpkin harvest, thankful harvest, leaves, pumpkin spice, pumpkin gingerbread. Who's that dude? Yeah. 
And then they just got, of course, your Yankees and stuff over here. I don't think they have anything, just just their regular fall stuff. What is it? And some little of these ones like this. All right, so now we are stopping at the glass recycling. Marco's throwing my empty candle jars in the glass recycling. And then we just stopped at Dunkin' Donuts because they had their happy hour going on that I told you about yesterday. I got another coconut cream pie iced coffee. So they have it, I think it just started this week. And it, I think it goes to the end of the August, I think, end of August. Dunkin' Donuts happy hour from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Iced coffees and iced teas are 99 cents for, I think you can get small or medium. I think you can't get a large. I think it's only the small medium. I think the meat small might be less than 99 cents or something. I don't know. But we got a medium for 99 cents. Brad got a sweet tea for 99 cents. So yeah, it's a good deal. Now, all we have to do is head to the P.O. box and then we're heading home. So we just got home and check the P.O. box and we did get the package. It's from Munch Pack. They sent us an email wanting to know if we wanted to try their products and do a review on them. So this is what they sent us. We'll just kind of show you it's real quick. Box. We'll do a separate video and we'll like try them out and stuff for a separate video. They just have just different snacks it looks like. Right, Chicago style mix, Doritos 3D, different snacks in there. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That'd be like perfect for the kids for lunch. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool Pretty things cool. in there. Looks like some of us from Japan or something. And a little drink. Hmm. Pretty cool. I'll we'll have to do a video and try them out. Be cool to get one a week for um, Ralphie and Marco for lunches for school. That'd be cool. We'll do the. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> we'll do the uh, we'll do that taste test uh, eventually. He we're gonna have to. He wants to be seen again. He said, "Oh, no, I don't." Do the Oreo Thins taste test with Marco here in a little bit. I'm not doing one. Because everybody misses Marco on the taste test. Don't you comment down below if you miss Marco on the taste test. Don't comment down below. And he'll do a taste test again. I will not do a taste test again. Yeah, you will. No, I'm not. Okay, guys. So we're home. Not much going on. So I thought, oh, um, I guess I could start doing some Christmas stuff. It's about that time. So, this is all, well, not this one, but all of these are materials that I've made Bryce, um, like bibs and spit cloths when he was first born. So, I got this wild idea to make a quilt out of all the material that I used to make his birth cloths and stuff with. And then I have stuff that I did for Paisley when I made her birth cloths and bibs. And I'm going to do the same thing for her, make a quilt for her for Christmas out of the material I used. I'll probably have to buy a little bit more material, but at least I'll have some of what they had when they were a baby in there too. And um, Mackenzie kept all that stuff. She won't get rid of it because I made it for him which I think is cute. So yeah, just got this wild hair and I like, why not? It'd be cool. So that's what I'm doing for Christmas for those two. And I thought about making, if I have time and I get these done fast enough, I might make my nephew Bentley one and my nephew Maxton one. 
if I have enough time, but that's four of them I gotta make. So if I can stay steady at it and get it done, I can do it, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll show you progresses as I go. So we just got through doing another taste test. We did a taste test on the Oreo Thins, salted caramel, and coconut. And then we also did a taste test on the um, cotton candy Twinkies. We did them all together in one. So I think that'll be up by the time this vlog is up. So we'll check it out if it is. And then also, I ordered some candles from QVC. Harry Slatkin has been on there all day today. If you're into candles and watch the vlogs, you'll know all about Harry Slatkin. He's been in, on QVC today all day for the Christmas in July, and he has his three-wood candles that just came out that he has on there. So a lot of them are selling out pretty quick, so I, I wanted to get some, so I just ordered two candles. I ordered a set of two. I ordered the, um, oh, it was the Harvest Leaves and Autumn Pumpkin, I think is what it was. I think that's what they were called. It's the Pumpkin one and the Harvest Leaves. I think it's uh, Autumn Pumpkin and Harvest Leaves, I'm pretty sure. So excited to get them and see if they're good. They ship them out September, the middle of September, and then they charge you for it when they ship them. So that's pretty cool. And they even had a payment plan where you could split it up in three payments, so that's pretty cool. So I got those ordered. Check them out in September when they come. And that's about it, nothing else going on. Anything else going on? Anything else going on? No, just checking uh, what I'm tagged on in Facebook. Mm. Boys are in the shower. Well, not Ralphie's in the shower. Marco's gonna be in the shower in a minute. And Marco did the taste test with us. We were happy and surprised that Marco did the taste test with us again. He didn't want to with the last minute he decided to, so that was cool. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. Brad was just about asleep. I remember to end the vlog. I was replying to comments here. And I'm like, shoot, didn't end the vlog. So I just caught Brad before he fell completely asleep. So, just barely, just barely. So back to work tomorrow. I work two days and I'm off Friday for um, my brother is coming back, like I said. So we're just going to see him that day. We're going to have dinner with him and his wife. So I took that day off for work and then uh, go back to work Saturday and Sunday before my days off. So I only have to work four days this week, so that's good. Work two days off and then we're two days and off again. So and then Brad's He's getting off work early, Friday. Yeah, I'm getting off at three. Yeah, because your mom said something about dinner at five, and I didn't know if we were driving there or they were coming here or what. So I guess yeah. make sure I was off in time. Yeah, I don't know if we're going up to my mom's or if they're coming down here to Kansas City. So anyway, so all right. So thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all. In the next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all. <laughs>